Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today is Motivational Monday, so sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. Have you ever felt like you were caught between two different mountains? Well, we're not the only ones that have felt that way. We're not alone. In the book of 1 Samuel, it talks about David and the children of Israel camping down in the valley of Ella. And on one mountain was the Philistines, and on the other mountain were the children of Israel. So the army was down in that valley of Ella. Now, what can we learn from that, and what can we learn about being in the valley? Well, you know, oftentimes a valley experience for us it comes right on the heels of those mountaintop experiences. And it's real easy when we're in the mountain to worship the Lord and say, oh, God has done this, glory, hallelujah. I'm just gonna do a hallelujah dance all over town. It's easy when you're on that mountain and everything's going good. But when you're walking through that valley of Ella, there are giants that have to be slain in order for you to get out of that valley. And one of my friends said something Sunday that really resonated with me, and my pastor actually taught on this passage of scripture, but she said something after church, and she said, don't forget in the valley what you have learned on the mountaintop. And that really resonated with me because most of the time when we are in that valley, it is to practice those things that we learned while we were on top of that high mountain, you know? And sometimes when we are in that valley, you know, it's dark, it's gloomy, it's depressing, and it's hard to remember. You know, just a few weeks ago, I was really high on the mountain and everything was going great. It's especially hard the longer time period we remain in that valley. Now, sometimes I am firmly convinced that God puts us in a valley experience in order for us to exercise the things that we have learned when we weren't in that valley. When we're in the valley, we find out exactly what we really believe. Do we really believe God's word? Do we really believe the Bible? So today I want to give you a word of encouragement and just ask you, what is your valley of Ella? What is it in your life that is a valley for you? What is it that is difficult for you to overcome and move forward and go in grace and love in this world? What is it that is stopping you from fulfilling your purpose? And it could be anything. It could be a person. It could be an object. It could be, uh, you know, an emotional experience. It could be anything. But whatever it is, I'm going to ask you to think about the things that you learned when you were having, when everything was going great. If you're a widow, especially, think about the times when you and your husband uh, did things together and you felt like you were fulfilling your purpose or your calling. And what did that look like to you at that particular time? And I want you to look at it today without sadness, but look at it and examine it and say, okay, what can I take away from that? to fulfill my purpose on this earth here today? How can I serve God in that same way that I was clearly serving him in that time period before? Now, at the end of the day, God may be calling you to do so, something totally different. And if he is, take a moment if you're in that valley of Ella today and just say, okay, Lord, where, what is it that you want me to do? Where do you want me to go? There are giants down here, okay? I need to slay these suckers and get on with my life. And whatever it is, whether it's negative self-talk or whether it's, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to ask you today to just think about it, pray about it, and encourage yourself in the Lord today. And I want to encourage you in this today as well and just let you know that you are never too old to dream a new dream or start a new vision. You are never too old to fulfill your purpose here on this earth. Ladies, I was old when I discovered what God wanted me to do on this earth. I wasted a lot of my life because I didn't know what that was. But you know what? Now I do know what that is. And I was it was later in life when I discovered that. So don't let the enemy discourage you from doing what God wants you to do. Don't let him keep you in that valley when you were born to sing on the mountain. Don't let him keep you there. Listen, you guys, I hope this encourages you today 
visit my website, Ninja Life Coaching, and take a look and prowl around over there and see about all the things I've got to do. If this helps you in any way, I'm going to ask you to like, share, subscribe, and smash the notification bell so that we can uh, get more subscribers and I can reach more people with a positive message and help more ladies to become confident and be encouraged in the Lord and Wigs and makeup sure don't hurt, do they? So you all have a good day. God bless you all. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Maranatha.